Hello, and welcome to the pursuance of an inscrutable reciprocity. A Thief 2 20th anniversary fan mission by, oh sorry, campaign even, by Gort. This is a two mission campaign, although there's, there's an asterisk and a footnote underneath that number two, as you'll see, because I do intend to try and show off uh, a couple of the little uh, tweaks that I found out about. Now, normally I go with hard difficulty. Um, well, we'll go back go back through the difficulty once we hit the objectives. Let's see the briefing first. In one's life, one must choose the correct path to successfully achieve their quest for meaning. They are usually confronted with two different paths, the short, wide path, and the long, winding, narrow path. Many have chosen the wide and short, but only to find nothing. Only the ones that choose the long, winding, narrow path will find their true meaning, an unknown scripture. was trying to sell a high mage's magical scepter in order to pay the rent. The problem was that every time I tried to do it, the buyer would at first be interested, but then become shaky, wanting nothing to do with it. Also, there was an incident that would keep me from going to a few more buyers. So because of this, I had to seek greener pastures in another city. The people here seem a bit jumpy, including the watch. It looks like some of the watch used to work for Sheriff Gorman Truart. I'd better not bump into the wrong people here while relieving the locals from the burden of their valuables. Well, if I'm going to find a place to stay, I'm going to need some more money. Since I want to acquire a place here, why not use the city's own valuables to pay for it? All right. Um, you've heard about an appraiser that could be able to tell you how much the High Major's magic scepter is worth, but his price is a tad steep. However, you need to know. Now, at least five hundred in loot. Once you've got enough loot from the city, it's time to get back out of the city from the north entrance gate. Daring difficulty, a thousand loot. Got tough difficulty, two thousand loot, and. Assassins will sneak and kill to accomplish their goals, but you are not that. Don't kill anybody. However, uh, Gortz, the previous mission of Gortz that I played, um, of which I forget the name, it's a prequel to this one, I believe, is because I had to steal the High Major's Magic Scepter in it. Um, well, it was the difficulty level is not tuned for uh, my way of playing, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm actually going to play this one on normal, since he's since he's given uh, different difficulty levels. I'm get, play with this one on normal uh, and see how I get on. Now the other thing to note is I'm actually not going into this mission blind. I have played this mission, just this first mission in this campaign, for uh, two hours now. About an hour in, I hit a game-breaking bug without realizing it. A, a scripted event didn't actually trigger. And that uh, prevented me from finishing the mission. But I, I wasn't aware of it, so I kept playing for an hour trying to find out what to do next. And eventually the, the forearms found out this bug. Um, hopefully that bug doesn't occur anymore. This this is version 1.2 of the mission, which was just released earlier today, which says it fixes a game-breaking bug. Doesn't say which one. Hopefully it's the one I encountered. If not, uh, from reading other people's workarounds that they managed to get working for that uh, bug, basically saving and loading uh, can sometimes cause the scripting to recover. So hopefully the bug's fixed, if not I think I know enough how to avoid it and this should hopefully not, hopefully be a more successful mission. So we're gonna get 500 in loot and get out. Uh, 1500 cash, start with my usual kind of healing and flashing tools. Lots of rope arrows, only one broad down, only one water. 
Definitely going to want more water arrows. Someone wants to give you some advice for a fee. Sure. That's only 100. Let's grab another healing potion. And another flash bomb. And fill up on water. So I've got plenty of water arrows. Hopefully I don't need many broadheads, but uh, I don't plan to assassinate many people. So let's give this a go. Let's check out that tip. Garrett, if you're entering this city, you may want to be careful not to bump into anyone. They can be a bit touchy about it and may get startled. Also, it would be best not attracting attention. Some of these guards are from Sheriff Truett's men. They may hunt you down if they find out you're here. Signed, a friend. Well, thanks, friend. Don't get spotted. That's brilliant advice from Master Thief, isn't it? Well, all we've got to do is get some money, so let's... There's a guard there. Let's start our uh, loot hunting in the first open window we see. <laughs> That'd be good, locked away this tight. Hundred. Wow. 225, we're almost halfway to our goal. Day 5. This is now my 10th day in this city. It's quite a bit bigger than the other city of the Far East. Although this city is bigger, I do miss the simplicity of the other city. It wasn't too fancy, but everything was easy to get to and the warehouse job was okay. But now I'm making more money with my new job as mechanic for the mechanists in this city, and I can relate to the people that live here. However, the one downfall that I have is the fact of how paranoid some of the city watch are at night. Some of them tend to think that they saw something unusual. On top of that, they like to use the name Gorman Truett as their sheriff. From what I've heard, they're new recruits from another city. I guess it may take them a while to adjust to the sheriff's actual name. Day 6. Something has been grabbing my curiosity lately. Near the north entrance, I've been examining the statues. I'm not sure of the reason for them. It just seems a bit odd to have them there. Also, there are two braziers with what looks like indentations in their centres. They look like they're not for lighting up. On top of that, I've noticed that there are some metal tracks behind the bottom middle statue. It looks to me like it should be movable, but how? Pushing on it was to no avail. Well, I'd better just forget about it. I've already received either some puzzled or angry looks. Sooner or later, I will figure that mystery out. Something up with those statues back there, huh? Well, I might take a look... Uh that's not a door. I could get out on the rooftop there, but uh, or here even. Why don't we go check out those statues and see what's suspicious about them? <laughs> An easy way down. Yeah, let's drop onto this statue here. Yeah. In an era that time forgot, many lives were lost. Never for never forget what was lost and learn from their follies. Oh, somebody's coming. You're quite right, can't be. He's going away again. Yeah, there's definitely these uh look like they're made for putting something in. Some middle statues on tracks. This one? No, oh, so it is. Interesting, interesting. Alright. Well. Let's just see what we can find. Cards. A 
sewer. I'll come back to that. Hello, are they turning around? No, they're just uh, wobbling. Hello, Mr. Uh, Noble. Uh, these old buildings make too much noise. I'll take that. She's just going back and forth. Oh, I guess it's uh, turn around. Well, I can't get in here. Can I need a key for that one? <laughs> nice little backyard. Some valuable crystal just thrown about. Just wait for this guard to come and go. Well, that doesn't go anywhere. <gasps> Apple, I'll take that. Sure, why not? <gasps> oh, another sewer grate. Now, this looks like it could almost get up there. friend. No, nah, that's a bit too high. No, oh, he's coming back. Have I been here? Is this... No, I don't think so. Another backyard. Where does this go? <gasps> hmm. There's people hanging around there. <gasps> Let's not jump over a fence inside of a guard, huh? Now at least 500 loot. Get back out of the city from the north entrance gate. How, did you see me? Did he see me through the fence? How are we doing for loot? I scrolled past it. 400. There's another sewer grate. Where's this switch came from? No. in here and see if they've got any valuables for us. Well, we got one arrow, so that's quite nice. Wait, how many do I have now? Twelve. Didn't I buy seven? So five wood arrows, that's ridiculously generous. 
You have been invited to attend to Blank's mansion for our private meeting and activities. However, in case you are unable to attend, you may have a trusted person to arrive. Please note that it must be someone that you trust most dearly and that we have knowledge of who this person is ahead of time. Also, make sure that the substitute guest acquires this invitation with their name on it. Thank you. Sadly, I, Lucy Koopmanthorpe, will not be able to attend. I will have Rich Shafton in my stead. Invitation. I mean, I'm not Rich Shafton. I mean, I'm not rich yet. I have to get my loot goal first. But uh, who knows? An invitation to a mansion could be, uh, could be useful. I'll hang on to it. Come on. All these people lock the doors so tight, they're so untrustworthy. It's almost as if they think a thief might break in and steal something. If there was anything to steal. Oh, hello. Oh, would you look at that? Loot goal reached. Now have at least 500 loot, get back out of the city from the north entrance gate. You know what? That sounds like a brilliant idea. Why don't we do that? You know, we've we've uh, done everything we need to. Oh, there's a guard going there. <clears throat> we can just go back out, and we're done. You know? You didn't see anything. I'm in pitch black darkness here. Probably just some rookie. Yeah, probably just some rookie. I'm a little lost on these winding streets. Is this? No, this isn't the way up. This is the wrong way. It's not the way we came from. Oh yeah, that's the this building. Oh hello. That's the building we. Uh, Went into first of all. Hey, is anyone there? Is he like seeing if the buildings are empty or what? Maybe he's just really, really twitchy. Well, here we are. Back at the start. Well, that was easy. Stats. We missed, well, a paltry 7,000. And three secrets. That doesn't matter. Let's go straight to mission two. Time to go get some sleep after a good night's work. Go into your new place to get some rest. Well. Don't think too much of the decor in here. Oh, this is more like it. Entrance hall is a bit shabby, but this is, uh, looks like the grand style I'm, uh, I'm used to. Give me my own bathroom. Brilliant. Easiest thief campaign ever. We uh, found zero out of zero. Perfect, I'm a master thief. Now that's kind of a joke ending. Uh, obviously there's a lot more to this uh, campaign. Um, and, uh, but you can complete it if you, uh, things don't, you know, trigger in the uh, order that you expect. 
But um, yeah, so I thought that was worth worth showing. So let's actually keep going here. Room closet. Anything in these buckets? No. Oh, somebody sleeping here. Day four. This city has its silly characters. The main ones are the two from the families Lucy Cookman Thorpe and Samson Kingston. These two are greedy for each other's gems. Lucy Cookmanthorpe has a large purple tourmaline, while Samson Kingston has a red ruby. These gems are their family's heirlooms. However, they seem to have the impression that both gems belong to just one family. So both Lucy and Samson will try to steal them from each other. Most of the time they will have their servants to do the dirty work. Anyway, so far the shop is getting quite a few customers. Mainly, it's a few mechanists that are meeting with Herloin at his estate south of the city. Day 5. Well, the two are at it again. This time it looks like Lucy is winning. I think I saw one of her servants break into Samson's house and dashed out while I was talking to shopkeeper Matthew from the east side. I told him what I saw. As for my business, things are starting to calm down once again. I guess the mechanists got what they came for. I tried to ask one of them what they're doing in the Herloin estate, but they said that it was none of my business and I shouldn't be snooping around. I wonder what they're doing in there. Well, it might be none of your business. I'll make it my business and I'll definitely go snooping around if I can. A Halloween estate, huh? Where does this take us? Quiet. Oh, this is just the roof by that building. Okay. Oh, it does give us access to some other rooftops. Oh. <clears throat> Ouch. That didn't hurt too much. Did he... Did he stop or what? <laughs> Where are we now? Is <laughs> oh. card coming? And our noble friend again. Who just decided to give up and go back the other way, okay. Unless he's got broken parts finding, in which case he'll be going back and forth. Right, we were just here earlier. Um, um, what's that? Nothing. <coughs> Don't make me bonk you on the head. If you give up and keep walking. You won't have to wake up with a headache. Odd. That's good. Nothing there. That's good. Good. Good nobleman. Just keep on walking. Who's that? I didn't finish exploring this way, so whoops. So this is the one that I couldn't pick open. 
we'll keep uh, wondering here and see where it takes us. He's just going back and forth, isn't he? Don't mind me. Yeah, that was the backyard where I found the crystal. Hang on, did I did I finish exploring this way then? Now oh, I'm I'm a little lost. All oh, right, I came over here. That's right. And didn't finish exploring over this way. I haven't been down that much, so that way leads back to the start. Where does this take us? Yeah, so right, I was here before. <gasps> yeah, alright, let's check out this corner. And these yards. Let's see what we can find. Well, that's very nice. Paving stones. Ah, they not left any loot out for me to nab. How thoughtless. <gasps> Can't trust people these days. Excuse me, may I have a bit of your time? All right, but please make it quick. I must do my job to make sure we don't have any unwanted outsiders in this city. Can you tell me the history of the statues that were built near the north entrance? Not much is known, but years ago I was told that a group of midges were settling in this city wanting to erect a midges guild building. It was near complete, but there was a horrific accident. Really? What happened at the midges guild? I'm not sure, but it had something to do with the undead. Seems to me that it's just a crazy tale to attract attention to the city. Anyway, there is now a mansion where the tale stated that the midges guild once stand. However, there is that round building that nobody can get in. It's been there at least as long as the statues. Interesting. Maybe one of these days, I'll try to see if I can visit that mansion. It's located to the very south end of the city. But good luck doing so. The owner only lets a select few in. Hmm, interesting. I may just pay a visit to that mansion myself. The objective. Hmm, it seems that there's a mystery about the mages in the city. Or the midges, if we're to listen to the guard. If you gather more information in this city, there might be much more rewarding treasure waiting to be in your hands. Find out what you can on it. Oh, that's uh, worth noting, isn't it? I'll take your arrow, thank you. She has a key I'd like. Where is everyone going? They're going off to the right. Oh, he's coming back. Have I been over here? Oh, it's down the backyard. Make that, shall we? 
Apparently not. I can't mind those trees. Is it going back out the way we came in? <laughs> oh, that guard's gone. That way too. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I think I've been over here. Alright, that's the way back to where we came. Okay. Alright, we'll have to see what's down. Oh. Another sewer grate. No, you didn't. Oh, she's coming back. I might be able to get a key quite easily then. Hello? Someone over there? Nope. Personal chest key. <laughs> the guard's coming back too. Looks like it's nothing. Let's stay out of his way. Come down that passage, I wanted to go down. She's gone down there too. And there's a different guard coming out, alright? It's all all busy, busy, busy. Oh, I think the archer's coming back. Patience, got patience. All right, now let's check this out. Please help me. I've accidentally dropped a special gem down this drain. Can you get it back for me? I don't have time for such trivial things. You can get it yourself. But you don't understand. This is the Cucamanthorpe family gem. I'll be a dead man if I can't get it back. Well, Tapper, then you'd better get down in the sewers and get it back. But you wouldn't want to get your rich clothing all dirty, would you? I, on the other hand, have no such qualms. If you've dropped a valuable gem, I might have to check out the sewers for it myself. Been in here, that's right. This is uh, connects there. Okay, anything else here? Well, while he's hunting for a German. there. Why don't we see if we can find it ourselves? So he was... Let me get my bearings. The archway is to my left, so he is down that way, which is west of here. So we should look to the west. Where... Uh, the water flows into the sewers. Lots of rats here, too. Hey, ratty. Down this way, perhaps. Find the water inflow? No. Hmm. 
could have sworn that was uh, close to the drain that he was standing by. Well, I guess we check the other inflows just in case. Who knows how bizarre the piping is in this place? Oh, hello. It floats. Large purple tourmaline of Koopmanthorpe. That's what I was looking for. That's not loot, that's a quest item. Alright, wait. Uh, is this where I came in? No. Is this where I came in? Wait, did I walk right past the gem before? Maybe I did. Garrett blind as a barret. Ah, uh, sure, I do love wading through all this beautiful perfume sewer water. <laughs> I guess I won't complain now if one of the guards is uh, mumbling about the smell. hard save there. So we've got something that seems quite important. And now uh, let's head back north and check out the other parts of the city once this car has gone by. No? Nothing. <sighs> oh, he's coming too. Letting those stay alert, pep talks get the best of me. Indeed, never listen to pep talks. It's always a bad idea. All right. Well, head west. That's quite a few guards there. You seem to be waiting for someone. Hmm. A few too many to try to get by here. Yeah, I could flash bomb past them. They've got those big helmets. Well, not the middle, not the archer, but those swordsmen have got the big helmets, which means I probably can't knock them out. I think we'll come back there later once we find a need. Like this lady again. Oh no, it's not somebody else. Oh, somebody who is stopping and looking around. I saw something. I don't think you saw anything. I think you're making it making it all up. There's nothing here. The street's empty. There's nobody else around. Just quiet. Anybody left anything on these tables for me? No? Ungrateful wretches. I guess I'm an ungrateful wretch, you know. Not happy with what I've managed to steal so far. Hmm. 
Hello, round building. Is that the one they said nobody can get into? I mean, it's easy. We just pick the lock. Or find a key. Okay. ourselves a inactive iron beast it's leaking oil I guess it needs some maintenance uh, charging station for them Warning, the children of Karas that lay are very unstable and in need of repair. Draw near at thy own risk. Yes, he's asleep. Let's not wake him. Shall we? Let's see what's upstairs. Crates. So crates. Oh, a healing potion. Nice. Can't drop this for some reason. Oh, there we go. More crates and wait, is this the chest we have a key for? Personal chest? It is indeed. Nice. And I probably don't need that key anymore. Let's get it out of my inventory. <laughs> the owner will think she dropped it there. She'll think her memory's faulty that she uh Never had the diamond in the first place, surely. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. Now oh, I wonder. It, it does wake up. All right, the sign was not lying. I give thanks for my arms, with them I make the world less wretched. I don't remember hearing that line before. I probably just didn't notice, but uh, yeah, one of their arms is a cannon that uh, is very deadly against thieves. Definitely makes the world less wretched. What else we got down here? Uh, not a door. Can I climb up there? Should be able to. Oh yeah. Just. It's just a slight overhang that makes it seem questionable. Ah. Oh. Hello. There's a window. Always remember to look up, Garrett. Always remember to look up. Slow fall version. And a nice clay mushroom. Steps. Coming or going? I think they're going. These ones are definitely coming. It's a guard. 
the sword. And one of those big helmets. Lovely. Oh, that's not a door. I think that's not a place. This is a place. It's not even locked. Hello. Who's that? Please don't play games. Um. Someone just standing there. Not a door. Day four. It's been difficult to come up with a good poem these days. I've been having a lot on my mind ever since I've moved to the city. However, I think I've finally obtained some inspiration and came up with a decent poem. I'll write it on the next page. One of these days I'll be able to get an acting part in one of my favourite plays in the Opera House that's in the city 20 miles east of here. I've heard that it's open for 24 hours. That should help me with my schedule since I'm usually out and about at night. In between control and progress, a work in progress. Control can be powering to those that want it. Alternate position of the control can desire it. Shift the roles of the two for a mysterious event. End the conflict between them in the conference tent. Is the conflict going to end or forever reiterate? Bad will change over to good and the conflict eliminate. Well, I'm sorry uh, to tell you, you probably are not going to get hired at the opera with uh, a poem that quality, but there's a hidden message here. Control, Alt, Shift, End is bad. Control, Alt, Shift, End is the uh, mission skip hotkey that uh, lets you complete the mission. Now, I'm actually, I'm actually going to use it. Now, I know from my previous attempt that is not just a warning to tell people not to do control shift alt end, it's actually uh, a little more clever than that. So if we do skip the mission, this is what happens. Well, mission complete, obviously. Continue on. Seriously? Mission skipping? Ugh, I can't believe this. I even toned down my difficulties for this. So more people can play it, and yet you still want a mission skip. Well, ain't gonna work in this one. I guess you're now stuck here. Might as well just deal with it. Ah, uh, we have a uh, nice snarky, snarky m message there from the mission designer. And he locked us in this room. With no equipment. Nice. Anyway, uh, a lot of work went into animating that character, I guess, for that conversation. Let's not skip the mission then, shall we? Let's see if we can complete it the proper way. Someone stole your family's red ruby? Yes. As I was about to open my door to my home, I've noticed that it was already open. From what I've heard on the streets, there was a figure of a person coming out of your home and was heading to the northwestern area of the city. Whoever it was, they knew exactly where to search. I have a good idea of who that might be. That 
a Fermanthic wench must have taken it. Do you want me to deal with it? Yes, but don't have it linked to me. Perhaps you could get the ruby swapped with a fig that has a surprise for her. I'm sure her servant was the one who broke in and took it. Okay, say no more. I have just the thing for the job. I shall return after I have the ruby. Until we meet again. Well now, let's follow this guy and take the gem by knocking him out after he gets it. Yeah, why not? Doesn't seem to be too uh, careful. Now I'm going to do another hard save because that's the uh, bit that broke last time I played. Hello? So. Someone over there? No. Ah! I give up. Ah. Well, at least it didn't alert him. But I better not let him get out of sight. Pathfinding pirouette. <laughs> I'll save here because, again, in case it breaks, I might need to reload. There's a key, I should take that. East side decor store key. Well, you can just sleep down there. Well, east side, huh? We now have the two gems. So, the red ruby of Kingston, and the large purple tourmaline of Kutmanthorpe. That was. Uh, the event that broke. He, uh, I knocked him out last time I tried this and the gem didn't drop. So it seems to be fixed, which is good news. So let's just check out this east side store that he had a key for. It's east, yes. Probably this door up ahead that we uh, couldn't pick the lock of last time. Last time we came this way. Hurry up, man. Get on with you. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Where's the key? It is good, good. Well, oh, what's this? Another key. West Side Shop money box key. I haven't found a money box. I'll uh, <laughs> gladly take uh, these valuables. The door, all right. Oh, nice, nice. Let's 
Why does the east side shop have a key to the west side money box? West side shop. Maybe they're uh, rivals. Well, mystery about the majors. So the mansion in the south then is presumably the um, where the majors were. Right, well, I have a feeling these gems have got something to do with these braziers and the movable statue, but before I test that out, um, I want to check out the rest of these streets down here, seeing as we didn't get all the way down before following that fellow. He's coming this way, isn't he? Well, patience, patience. Somebody else walking around. Maybe that mechanist. Nope, another lady. Does she have a purse, I wonder? She does not. So we went in there. Always got to be careful of those pirouettes. Right, we knocked her out in a hurry because she acts on the source. Should also keep an eye out up above, you know, if there's any open windows. You are great. This is good to know. Should be able to use the sewers to get around off the streets, I guess. Hang on, does that guard? That guard has a has a purse that I have not stolen. Disgraceful! How dare you, sir? How dare you? spotted here. Right, she's going right by. Oh, and now the guard's coming back. Oh no, he's going off to the right. That's it right there. Oh, it's bright. That's more like it. A bit late to be just wandering around at night. Right there. I saw something. Hello? 
Hello. Oh, is this the West Side Shop? Where's that? That's the West Side Shop money box key. Oh, he's coming back. I wonder if there's an open window or something we can get in. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything like it. All right. Maybe we get that key. Also, what's this place? list for day five. Find out what type of metals I can get from the city. Look for any unusual landmarks that are unsavory. Report to the high priest about my findings. To do list for day six. Refine the metals I've obtained. Figure out how conductive these new metals are. Understand why half of this city is so obsessed with the word ball. Ball! I guess he understood. missed it. What's this? That's suspicious. It's like an, an elevator or something. I wonder if there's a switch hidden around. And there's just a ledge around the windows, but... Uh... Doesn't look like a, there's a hidden switch in here. What's... Oh! Oh, there's all buttons. They are all buttons. Huh. Huh. Twelve buttons. Well, I don't know how to... Uh... I can just throw them in. Wait. Wait. Only that one lights up. No, two of them light up. Oh. Is that it? Guess it's up and down, and the rest is just for show. Secret, alright. Just gonna keep some valuables down here. Nothing underneath, just worth the checking. Get back up again. Very cunningly hidden switches there. I looked at it like three times, thinking it was just uh, part of the texture. All right, rooftop garden. Nothing hidden here, is there? Oh, I wonder. That's the door we couldn't get in, right? I wonder... Hmm... It's possible to get across there, let's try it. Wow! Surely that should have hurt, but uh... There's a tiny little ledge there, which I hit. Oh, let's take that. Nice. Nicely hidden. Let's try that jump again. Feels like I've 
if I just jumped a fraction sooner. Certainly if I strafe jump, I could probably make it, but uh, strafe jumping doesn't feel like it's ever intended. If I just jumped a fraction later, it should be all right. Let's try it. Oh. Ouch. That time it hurt. Good thing about healing potions. <sighs> I'm gonna strafe jump it. Why not? There's probably nothing up there, it's probably a waste of time. Top, huh? Lots more rooftop. There's that mysterious round building. That's a bit too high to reach. Although, oh, there's a ladder. It's a bit too high, except there's a ladder. I was going to say, I could go and collect lots of crates from uh, down the alley where the mechanist place is and stack crates, but there was a ladder, so. No need to stack crates, so what's this? I wonder if I can get across there. This is, that's not a door. Looks possible, but dangerous. Just look up. Guess he heard us. Oh, what's that on the ground there? Looks like a crystal. In among all the rubble. I walked right past that, I guess. What do we got here? Another rope arrow. Nice. And another non door. Oh, another roof there. Hang on. This rooftop pathway passage there as well. Hmm. Let's see where this one goes first. Well, that's how it opens. Oh, this looks interesting. This looks interesting indeed. I mean, you tried, good effort. I wanted to get out. Not a door, not doors. Actual door. Aha! It's just that money box. Yes. Alright, we won't need the key again then, I guess. There's reason to go clambering over rooftops after all. So where does this take us then? It's 
not a door. So that's leaving money lying around on the rooftop. How careless. I could drop down there. I don't quite see why I would want to. Although, do I have anywhere else to go from here? There's a ledge on the outside of that. Let's, let's go back and check that out. Oh! Yeah, not like that. Let's uh, try that a little, hopefully, a little better. Statues. This roof does not look climbable. Although it is possible to get stuck on it. It would seem. An invisible wall. I can see something out here. Oh, the window there. Were you seen? Did you get it? Were you seen? Did you get it? I got it. And no, I didn't leave anything that would have you linked to the crime. Good. Give it to me. Let me have it. Ah, yes. It's beautiful. Oh, what is this on the back of it? It looks almost like a... Ah, he was delivering the fake gem that, uh, that they set up as a trap. All right. Oh, we're above those guys. Okay, is this... We have a way to get... Turn down to our deaths. Uh, I can do. I can certainly mantle that. It's just a matter of hitting it at the right angle. Uh, hmm. Maybe we're not supposed to be here. See the edge of the world. Let's go back. Yeah, I could drop down there, but it seems like I probably shouldn't. <laughs> At least if I want the, uh, the game to continue properly, which I kind of do. I can make that jump right. All right, back in the normal play area. Uh, so what was the other place I thought I could drop down? It was off that roof, which was lower ledge, which looks more like it is intended. Here, it does look a little more intended. Let's try it. Get stuck. All right. Well, there's an interesting round building which we could get on that roof ledge of, but I'm not sure there's a point to that. Wandering around. 
oblivious to the thief and off their heads as usual. Wow, lots of uh, high roof ledges here. Not a door. Where's the uh, statue place? Can't fit through there. Well, there seems to be nothing up here. So now we just need a way down. That won't break our legs. Perhaps the uh, round building there is the right way down. Hang on, what's here? <laughs> oh, we're at the statue place. Alright, this'll do. We can get down here, we can activate the statues. But we'll do that next episode. So thanks for much thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode when we'll try see if those gems will open up that statue.